survivors. They have fled recently, leaving snacks in their wake. Ah, they had the right idea. Somebody find the back entrance. Best dirty movie I ever saw. Oh, crap! This door will not hold. We must barricade it. You stay here, pal. You hear that? No more freaks. Something scared him off? to the exit. that sound? Gotta be him. Check the emergency. Batman has defeated Deadshot. The real Batman hunting us makes this experience most immersive. Ah, uh, the 
This exit is secured. Are there others? I thought Shark would take more beating. I don't even want to fight you, Batman, mate. I think you're the bee's knees. Lantern, I have the Flash. Your four escaped criminals. They led me right to him. No. Not a threat at all. Still, let their corpses strike fear into those who'd resist. Hey, boss. Bad news. We found evil Batman. He murdered a bunch of guys and kidnapped Flash, which I guess is the other bad news. Batman has also trapped us. I want you back at the Hall of Justice. Go to the other exit and wait for support. While they're out. Welcome to the real Batman experience. Begin at the Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Batman had apprehended Joker like so many times before, but this night, this night was different. The maniac had prepared a trap in the midst of Batman's deadliest foes. Can you smell the excitement in the air? Ha <laughs> ha! No? Must have been one of the guards then! Croc, old boy! Is that you? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Joker spraying nearly every killer in Arkham. <laughs> Don't like to think about it, but uh, at least I made it out. Great night for a party! <laughs> <laughs> Some party. Batman was able to thwart Joker's schemes. 
But the seeds of evil planted that day would only grow. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. Don't do performance-enhancing drugs, kids. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. His bones are outside of his skin. Is that correct? As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. I thought about taking Titan once. Just wanted to be muscly. And more muscly. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. I can't even say that's the most messed up thing he did. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. Every gal has a phase they regret. Maybe mine happened to get me consecutive life sentences. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. <laughs> nice outfit, Hal. Hey. I'm being sarcastic. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. I think the domino mask is a good touch. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. If Zoe tried to go out dressed like that... The strong man Bane was secretly imprisoned and experimented on in Arkham's depths to create a powerful new strength serum, Titan. Serial killer Victor Zaz was let loose on the island, claiming several more lives that night marked indelibly on his skin. Following the fall of the asylum, Gotham skid rows were turned into the super prison Arkham City, an urban hell where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know, I was on the ground, and so was Batman. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Fear, that's how we get respect. Show them all how we do things. Ah, uh, you know, if you pick the right side and then piss off the boss, <laughs> you were set. At least, uh, until the bat showed up anyway. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Court is in session. Grab him and cut him in two! Batman cleaned out Arkham City. Two-Face, Penguin, Ra's al Ghul, even the 
Joker. Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. A tragic irony. Professor Hugo Strange was the madman pulling the strings behind Arkham City. Intending to destroy the prison and its inhabitants, he instead died within its walls. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. Man, ain't this supposed to be a family show? Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. That is the way to expire. In the arms of a superhero. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. Could have been me and Flash. I mean, I wouldn't hold him like that. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. I compartmentalized all this in a box, in another box, in a fridge, in a junkyard. Raish al Ghul, head of the League of Assassins, was obsessed with making Batman his successor. But al Ghul underestimated Batman, and it would be his downfall. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I am not done with this phony steampunk ass looking dude. Talia Al Ghul, one second in command of the League of Assassins. Sadly, the spark between her and Batman was extinguished at Joker's last stand, along with her life. Victor Freeze, this brilliant but cold scientist, would do anything to protect his wife Nora, whether that meant opposing or aiding Batman. Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter, a real head case. A hypnotist fixated on fantasies. The only thing he sought more than his Alice was to control Batman. Basil Carlo, Clayface, worked for Joker, impersonating the criminal mastermind who hid behind the scenes. Quite the performance, and his last. Solomon Grundy wasn't just a nursery rhyme. Penguin discovered this legendary monster under the Iceberg Lounge and put him to use as rancid, undead muscle. The city's darkest hour was yet to come. Gathering Batman's remaining foes into an unholy alliance, the crazed Scarecrow plunged Gotham into a waking nightmare. Welcome to Gotham, the city of fear. You thought me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged forgotten fears, eventually I returned. 
My fire crew was trapped, but we owe Batman our lives. He just kept pushing himself past the limit. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city, but at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. The pyromaniac Garfield Lins thought he could indulge in the chaos, striking not just Gotham's buildings, but the fire departments protecting them. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. As always, Edward Nigma forced Batman to participate in his riddles, even capturing Batman's sometime ally Catwoman as incentive. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned, drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues, far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Some dudes go hey, to therapy. Hey, Wallace, we're at the exit. Some dudes Are get a pep talk from Superman. Ah, oh, shit! It's a ghost! Are the spirits of your ancestors typically digital? <laughs> What's she doing now? Trying to give us the brain spasms? She cracked the lock. Thank you, strange holographic girl. Real. You ate a lot of lead paint growing up, didn't you, Boomerang? Yeah. And? Let's get back to the hall before Waller turns our heads to hamburger. Or we could go on the Batman experience again. Pedal to the metal. Uh, a little help here. This door's 
Huh. Follow that green beam. You'll find lantern set up in some... <laughs>